Hey everyone, this is Todd Hazleton with TechnoBuffalo.com back with another video. Here is the Samsung Galaxy S Blaze 4G for T-Mobile. Uh, you'll have to bear with me as I get my camera set up here. We're still working on some lights and a tripod and stuff, but a uh, quick look here. Let's get to the box. Check out the features. Uh, a little hard for you to read, but it has uh, support for T-Mobile's HSPA Plus network. has a 3.97 inch screen, Super AMOLED of course, as uh, most Samsung's phones do. Samsung S3 processor, that's Qualcomm with a 1.5 gigahertz dual core CPU, 5 megapixel camera with flash, a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera, uh, it's got NFC support and more so let's just dive in and look at it real quick. Alright here's the phone itself, got the uh, directions on where the buttons are etc. You can see it looks exactly, or actually very, very similar to uh, the BlackBerry Torch, the latest one with the full touch screen. Uh, you get the power button here, micro SD card up there, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, volume uh, toggle buttons, and a micro USB port on the bottom. Put this aside for a second and look at what's inside the box. We'll lift this up. Here you've got, looks like a micro SD card adapter, charging cables, and then this little nifty box that, you guessed it, has all the manuals you'll need, recycling instructions, health and safety warranty guide. In case you need to, use, to learn how to use the phone, you've got it all right there. Let's power it up now and check it out. Alright guys, we're back with the phone itself and we've got it all powered on for you to check it out. As you can see, it's pretty basic Android right here. You've got a little bit of touch whiz. You've got some pre-installed stuff everywhere. Um, not sure what that widget even is. You've got the T-Mobile video. It's quick. T-Mobile TV. Uh, Media Hub Netflix. Netflix is cool. I like to use that pretty much every day. Bonus apps. Not sure why. You, you know, just use the Android market, right? And more. I don't know. T-Mobile Family Organizer. Lookout security, that at least is helpful against malware. T-Mobile Hotspot, also again useful. Share that HSPA Plus connection with other Wi-Fi devices. Here, standard list of applications, um, but there is tags, which means it's equipped with NFC, which you can tap your phone for uh, tagging things. Bringing in data, um, or hopefully Google Wallet. So you can use your phone to tap and go for mobile payments, and that's something I'm really actually uh, very excited about. Looks like everything else is pretty standard. Still says Android Market there, so you'll need to update for that, um, which will probably happen immediately once you enter your account information, which I haven't done yet. Uh, but that's a quick look here at the Blaze. You see it's reporting a 4G connection. Um, you know what? Let's do a speed test real quick uh, before I wrap this up. Okay, that was kind of painful. It took a while. Let's see uh, what we can do here with this speed test. I agree. So this is HSPA Plus, and now I'm not even sure if we're in that coverage. Doesn't look like it. Just says 4G. The uh, the point is is that T-Mobile gave me a list of places to actually test this in New York City, but problem is that's not what you're going to do. You're not going to come to the city and, and go to special places. So really you have to see what kind of speed you get in a general area. And right now, and this is before the full review, you know, it looks like we're in the, we'll put it into megabits per second for you, 1337, 1245, oh, that's not too bad. Let's see what it looks like in megabits per second. About 1.3, 1 1.4 there. Not that great. Um, AT&T's HSPA Plus network, I was just testing a different device today and it was, it hit three, which is, you know, okay, you can hit that with your iPhone too probably. And a little slower on the upload here. But, you know, this is just one test in one location. I'll be sure to test it all over New York. Timed out there. So, 0 0.59, 1 1.32 down. Not amazing. This is Todd Hazelton with Techno Buffalo. Thanks for tuning in.